What's up everybody, this is KG. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Defunk True Basic Wireless Earbuds. I recently switched phones from a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus to a S21 Plus. So in my new phone, I don't have the ability to plug in a headphone. It only takes wireless at this point. So that's why I had to get a set of wireless earbuds and I'm trying these ones out. So I'm gonna give a little review on it while I'm at it. So this is the case here. It has some information on the side, some more information about it on the back, and some additional information over here. And this is kind of the bottom of the box over here. I'm just gonna quickly read a few of the features of this on top of the box. It says it has a powerful sound, secure fit, 12 hour playtime, IPX4 touch control, long lasting comfort, Bluetooth 5.0, USB-C, and wireless range up to 10 meters. So let's open this up and have a look at it. Okay, so let's take off the cover. And this is what you get on the inside right here. This is the little case that the earbuds will come in. Okay, so this is the whole case here, like so. And it looks like it has USB-C charge port over here. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It has your two earbuds over here. Also, if you're looking really close, it tells you right and left, R and L, so you know which one is which. And these here are your headphones. So have a look at them. I'll just do a little rotation so you get a feel for what they look like. They're quite light, they're not too heavy, and they feel pretty good quality, just feeling them, touching them. The plastic, then this top part feels like a rubber, a little bit like a silicone-y rubber. So some of the features they mention on here, this little part here is called a bud heel, and they're saying that this is a silicone tip, which is the top part here. You can see is more of a matte looking color, the outside looks shiny, this looks a little more dull, but the material is like a silicone kind of material. Also up here you have little touch controls and a microphone. These little tiny, tiny things here. It's kind of hard to see, but I will give it a test once I try them out. And it also says that these headphones are water resistant. Okay, now let's dig a little deeper into this case to find more stuff. Take this out. Ah. This is your USB charging port and this is your USB-C which will hook into this guy here. So when you want to charge it, you got to plug it into here and then plug it into a charger from there, right? So that's how it would work. So these here are your instruction booklets. They come in multiple different languages. I believe this one, yeah, this one has English on it and a bunch of other ones and this one has even more different languages for your instructions. Okay, so the first instructions of what to do is you have to first fully charge the earbuds. So this is the little charging dock in here. And you can see when we put it up close, you have those two little metal dots. Those are your little charging sections. And when you put your earbuds in, there's sort of like a magnetic thing in there so that it, it clicks right into there and it will hold. So I'll just show you right now. Okay, so I'll put the first earbud right now. That clicked in, then the other one. So if you hear, you can hear it click in. See, it just kind of snaps in. So it pulls it into place and then you can charge it. So now we gotta plug this in and let it charge till it's fully charged. I already have my own USB-C charger, so I'll just plug that one in. So my charger is a little bit far away from the camera, but I'll try to show you from here. There's four little dots over here. When you're charging, right now it's flashing on the first one. The instructions say to charge it until all four lights are lit up and solid and stable. So right now it's only flashing on the first one which means it has to charge for a while. Also on the instruction case it says that the charging time is approximately one and a half hours. Okay so now it's charged and you can see here the four little light bulbs or four little dots, they're all lit up. So that means this is fully charged so let's take it out of the charger and we'll open it back up and then let's take them out. Apparently when you take them out they should automatically turn on. So let's give it a try. Let's just pull them out. 
and you can see they start flashing. So apparently when you take them out they start pairing with each other right away and they said that when it's fully ready they should just flash alternatively and that means they're ready to pair with your device. So they're pairing with each other and then pair with your device. So one is just flashing on and off and the other one is flashing every couple of seconds. So I don't know if that is right or wrong. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try to pair it with my device now. Okay, so I'm on my Bluetooth now. And this one here is the one I'm going to click on, Defunct True Basic. And let's see if it pairs the device. And then you click on Pair. And now I've gone back onto my Bluetooth and you can see here the Defunct True Basic is connected for everything, calls, audio, and 100% battery is left currently. So now it's paired to my device, I'm gonna put it on and give it a shot. Okay, both my earphones are here, I'm gonna put them in to my ears. And yep, they're in now, so you can see how it looks. I think it looks pretty neat, pretty cool. Wireless, obviously, so modern. Okay, so there are some instructions in the booklet here on how to use the headphones. So I'm going to test them out. But before I do, let me just read you the few different things that these earphones do. So to start playing music, you can double tap either earbud that will start the music for you playing in your earphones. If you want to skip to the next song, you hold your right earbud for two seconds and then you let it go. If you want to go back to the previous track, you hold the left earbud for two seconds and then you let it go. It will go backwards one track. Now if you want to increase the volume of the music, you tap the right ear one time and then it will go up one volume notch. Tap one more time, it will go another way higher. And if you want to bring the volume down, you tap the left side once. It will go down one volume notch. Again, you got to pause, push it one more time, it will go down one more time. So that's how you're supposed to raise and lower the volumes. Also, if you get a phone call to answer it, you can double tap either earbud to answer it. And also, when you're done talking and you want to hang up, you double tap either one to hang up. If you don't want to answer the phone call, you just hold your earbud for two seconds and then let it go. And that could be done to either earbud as well. And lastly, it says for voice assistant, you can tap either earbud three times and it will turn on voice assistant. Okay, so I have my phone with me now and I'm going to try these out and you can see it should turn on from my phone so you can follow along. Obviously you're not going to hear the music but I will tap my earbud two times to start the music and then I'll play with the volume bringing it up and down so you should be able to see it on my phone. So the music just turned on. I can hear it playing. Now let me try to turn the volume down. You should be able to see the volume knob going down. And then on the right side, should bring the volume back up. So it's working well. I'm going to take one out right now because then I can hear myself talking and probably turn the volume down a bit. So just listening to it right now, the quality of the sound is really nice. Uh, you can feel the bass in there. It's, it's clear, it's no, no breaking or nothing like that. It's smooth sounding. So for my first test on this, I would say it's pretty good. It says you can go up to 10 meters with it, so I haven't tested that out yet. But when I'm in the house, I'll probably give it a go, do some activities and keep it playing in my earbuds just to try it out and see how it goes. Now the other thing you can do is if you do want to turn it off, you just hold down the button for 5 seconds and it will turn it off. Let's see if it does it. <laughs> and it, when, it, when it shuts off it goes, see you soon, and then it turns off. So now I turned off my earbuds, so you can turn it off that way. Uh, a couple of other things I like to say about it, it actually feels good in your ears, the, the quality of it is nice, it feels soft and... and um, comfortable I would say that now of course this is something new for me like I said in the past I've used the plug-in earphones 
So this will give me a little bit of flexibility. And as an initial impression, I like them so far. They, they seem pretty nice. And, and like I said, it sounds pretty good as well. So I'm gonna test it out some more and see how it goes. Just so you know, in the stores, these sell for about $55. I ended up getting it free as a promo because I switched telephone companies so they actually gave it to me as part of signing up with them. So I didn't have to pay anything for it. But as an alternative to AirPods, regular price being $55 probably comes on sale for maybe $10, $15 off, sometimes too. So you could probably get it cheaper. So far, just from the initial test run, I would say it's a good buy. It's a good set of headphones. So far, they seem to be pretty much in line with something of that price, price range. And the sound that comes out of it is very clean and nice. You also get a little bit of bass in there, obviously not like bigger headphones or anything like that, but for earbud type headphones, you do get a little bit of bass sound. So you get a little bit of everything. And like I said, it's a, it's a decent pair of earbuds. So hopefully you enjoyed this review on the Defunk True Basic earbuds. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. And remember to hit the bell button so you are notified each and every time I post a new video. And remember to share this video with all of your friends. Take care and we'll see you next time. Peace out.